Hey guys, it's Master Lewis with On The Mat with Master Lewis. Um, today's topic is forms, or pumse, or kata, or whatever you call the things on the floor where you walk around in a pattern and do moots. Call it what you want. Um, I, I get asked this a lot, again, and uh, the questions were, were um, why? Why do them? I mean, you're not fighting someone, why, why do them? Well, it's tricky, but they do serve a purpose. To me, forms are a blueprint, a basic guideline of the mechanics for a lot of other techniques. Whereas you can low block really stiff like this. I mean, sometimes you'll underhook like this, uh, this hand will pull things back. I mean, there's a lot of things in just a low block by itself that have a lot of other benefits or purposes. So it's just a basic guide of the mechanics the, and then you adjust it for your body or the situation, okay? Um, I think some people dislike them because they look so static. Um, but if you relax and you do them and you practice the moves by themselves or the combinations by themselves, a little more relaxed environment, like I guess the person, um, not like a one step. I'm not a fan of one steps at all. Um, you, you, it makes a little more sense, okay? Um, to give you an idea, to me it's kind of like a basketball player just shooting the ball over and over, or a hockey player dribbling the puck around, or a wrestler working on takedowns and rotating and those kind of things on the on ground stuff. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu guys shrimping down the floor. I mean, um, it's it goes on and on, okay? Um, I had these conversations, a conversation like this with uh, Brad Williams from, from the Combat Club a year or so ago. And it was a good conversation. He was saying how he saw people doing it and it makes sense. And I, I broke some things down that I knew, I, that I see in MMA a lot that are based in forms. Well, I mean, they might not know it's based in forms, but it, same movement in forms. Um, and I showed him how it worked and what it looked like from the static point and then what they probably use it for. And then um, uh, another time, me and my good friend John Bryant, who teaches Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I was watching, he, I have him come in occasionally and teach a class for me or teach my kids Jiu Jitsu because, again, uh, the more you learn, the better you are. Um, and he was doing a sweep on the ground. I noticed, I happened to look at him, uh, where his hand was on the gi and where his hands were and what his legs were doing. And it was really similar to some stand-up sections of forms, traditional forms. And we talked about it. He's like, yeah, I did it with standing up and I showed what it looked like. He said, it's like the same thing but on the ground. So I think, and People can argue this if they want to. This is my opinion from my research. At one time, martial arts was probably just martial arts. There probably wasn't names for them. Um, they probably, they, I'm sure they included uh, kicking, punching, grabbing, grappling, weapons, and there was a complete martial art. That's pretty much, that's rare these days. It really is. Um, but I think what happened was, as it got commercialized, especially Asian martial arts got commercialized and schools were competing or styles were competing, uh, we're better than karate, we're better than taekwondo, we're better than jiu we're better. It's what happens is like, people wanted to be different, so they started specializing in certain things. Specializing, like you, you wouldn't go to college and just learn history and nothing else, or just learn anatomy and nothing else. So I think when martial arts separated, it, it hurt it. It really did. So um, that's why I try to do as much as I can learning other systems um, or parts of the systems at least. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I think if people took the time to try to understand forms and they weren't just something like instructors use as filler, like, like a low-level instructor is just like, ah, oh, go through your form. We got testing coming. Go do your form. We got testing coming. Go do your form. We got testing next week. Um, there's more to testing than forms. Definitely, okay? Um, but I think that's what um, people, especially younger kids, don't like about forms is they had to do it so much. So when I teach forms, they'll do their form. They'll do the form on each other. They'll do sections of the form on a bag. We'll do it on the ground sometimes. Um, and it makes it more practical and more fun. So in short, forms are good if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then um, you should look online, look for a better instructor. But again, um, just keep an open mind. Um, if your school doesn't allow that, which just happens quite a bit actually, there's a lot of closed systems in the world, um, 
Um, it, it bothers me. Like I let my students go to tournaments. I let them visit other schools. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. I'm confident in my ability to teach, and I'm not. My feelings don't get hurt if they learn something else. Um, but if you're part of a school that doesn't allow you to go to tournaments outside of your group or visit schools outside of your whatever, and they don't give you a good reason other than, well, ours is the true way, um, or our grandmaster invented his own special martial art, or you know, our system is the most advanced one in the world, or, I mean, you're not really, in my opinion, you're not in a martial art school, you're in a martial art cult. So I'm not a huge fan of, uh, with so much lacking in so many different martial arts, where instructors don't allow their students the freedom to look somewhere else. I mean, just and not just leave the school, but you just know, explore other things. I, I did that, which is part of the reason why I started my own school years ago. I wanted more than just one view. Okay, so and these days I follow follow up with that by having guest people from judo teach my students, uh, jujitsu teach my students, um, historical European martial artist. Uh, Scandinavian martial artist. I've got an Irish stick fighting guy coming. Hopefully, you can make it soon, Danny. Um, so that's it. Forms are good if you understand them and your instructor or you take the time to learn exactly what you're doing. Okay. So until next time, good luck. And again, I love comments, both negative and positive. Um, so just follow up with me if you have any questions. Thank you.